Ashley and I'm an educator at Cave in the Mount. And today I want to talk about rocks and minerals and how we use them in our everyday lives. But first, I want you to think about what you've used today. Has any of that had rocks and minerals in it? I bet more of them have had rocks and minerals than you probably realized. Let me tell you more. Well first, let's talk about quartz, because quartz is actually a mineral that's used in all of our electronics, which you're using right now to watch this video. And quartz is really cool because it's one of the most abundant minerals on this planet, and when you send an electrical impulse through quartz, it'll vibrate at the same frequency every time. It's called a piezoelectric resonator, and it's very helpful in all of our electronics, in our watches, TVs, cell phones, tablets, so you use the mineral quartz every single day. How about salt? Did you put salt on your eggs this morning or maybe on your french fries last night? Salt actually comes from the mineral halite, also known as rock salt, and it naturally comes in chunks much bigger like this, and not the tiny chunks that come out of our salt shakers, so we have to grind it down quite a bit. But salt has a lot of uses. We use it to make our food taste better or make our icy roads less slippery in wintertime, so halite is a mineral that we use all the time. How about using a pencil when you write your homework or take notes? There's a mineral inside the pencil called graphite, and it's a really soft mineral, so when you write with it, you actually smudge that mineral on the paper, and that's how you write. So you use a mineral every single day when you're at school when you use a pencil. Did you walk on the sidewalk today, or maybe play on the cement driveway you have in front of your house? Well, did you know that cement is just basically paste and aggregates like rocks and sand? So we walk, ride, drive on rocks all the time. They make up our roads and sidewalks. But not only that, we use them for building materials too to make foundations and pillars and things like that, like you see here at Cave of the Mounds. So these are just a few of the rocks and minerals that we use in our everyday life. If you want to learn more, you can become an at-home geologist. Geologists study the earth and the rocks and minerals that make up the earth in the first crust. And so, if you want, you can order one of our sluice bags and we'll send it right out to you. And at home, you can be your own geologist, dig through the sand and discover your own rocks and minerals and identify them. So come be a geologist with us at Cave of the Mouths.